Hi everyone! In this video, we will cover the topic of connection rule in Turkish language. So let's start. Before explaining the rule, let me note that connection rule is a phonetic rule, which means it's a rule about how you pronounce words and letters in a specific language. Connection rule specifically is a rule specifying how you pronounce words in a sentence that meets specific conditions. So what is the rule about? The rule says that if a word ending in a consonant is followed by a word starting with a vowel, the two tend to be pronounced as if they are not separate but connected words. Let's see the rule in examples. In the first example, we have two connection cases, one between the words benim and adım, and the second between the words adım and arzu. In both cases, we have a word ending in a consonant being connected to a word starting with a vowel. Therefore, you will pronounce the sentence not as benim adım arzu, but as benim adım arzu, where all the words are connected to each other. In the second example, we have a connection case between the words zaman and açılacak. Thus, we will pronounce the sentence not as okullar ne zaman açılacak, but as okullar ne zaman açılacak. Do you feel the difference? Yeah, it's a very slight difference, but still a difference. In the third example, we have again two cases of connection, here and here. Therefore, you will pronounce the sentence not as bugün Ali mezun olacak, but as bugün Ali mezun olacak. Now, here is a tip for you. As a beginner learner of Turkish language, don't force yourself to imitate and practice this rule. This rule is more practical and feasible as you become more advanced in Turkish language. Why so? Because over time, as you advance in Turkish, your tongue will anyway practice connection rule by itself quite naturally. Because connection rule is a phonetic rule that makes pronunciation easier. Thus, even if you wouldn't be able to practice it as a beginner, you most probably would practice it in a natural way as an advanced speaker of Turkish language. Therefore, don't stress out if you can't do it as a beginner. Of course, as with every rule, there are exceptions with the connection rule too. The first exception is that you will not connect the words if there is any kind of punctuation mark between the words. So in the example below, you will not connect them as ben geldi mama sen yoktun because there is punctuation mark and you have to separate them. The second exception is that you will not connect the words if you deliberately want to stress them separately by intonation, maybe to deliver some kind of a message of seriousness, anger or other kind of emotion. So in the example below, you can pronounce it with connection in a natural way, namely ben askerim, or if you want to stress them separately, you would say ben askerim. So basically speaking, if you don't feel like connecting them, then just pronounce them separately. Ben askerim. That's basically it to the connection rule. Let's practice the rule through a couple of examples. In the first example, we have a connection between yarn and erken. Therefore, you will pronounce them comparatively connected. Yarn erken gel. In the second sentence, we don't have any connection case. Therefore, you will just pronounce it normally. Babam hasta. In the third sentence, you have a connection case between the word benim and arabam. Bu benim arabam. In the fourth case, Again, we don't have any connection. Therefore, you will pronounce it normally. Bu araba benim. In the fifth sentence, we have a connection case between kanepenin and arkasında. Ali kanepenin arkasında. In the sixth sentence, we again don't have any connection case. Dün hastaydım. In the seventh sentence, we have again the connection between benim and adım. Benim adım Zehra. In the eighth sentence, we have connection between babam and aç. Babam aç. In the ninth sentence, again we don't have any connection. Yarın gecikme. In the tenth sentence, the connection is between the words kimin and arabası. 
Bu kimin arabası? And in the last sentence, we have a connection between benim and için. Bunu benim için yap. That's it. Congratulations. You now know the connection rule in Turkish language. See you in the next lessons.